Okay, so so the new starter's done. I uh, just wanted to show that I this is the battery I put in um, before I did the starter. Really, I don't know, barely made any difference. Um, but the reason I think the starter was bad is because not this, but this wing nut. This was really loose because there was no washer in here, and you could tighten it as much as you wanted, and this would just wiggle around. So that bad connection could have definitely uh, heated up the starter and fried that. So as you see the battery I have in here, it's a Group 34R, which it's supposed to take a 35R, but uh, this one has more cranking amps. I know some people said, oh, airflow, the battery's too big, it's going to get hot under the engine bay, but I'm not that worried about it. I want to get this thing cranking good, and we'll worry about it. The battery, you know, if it's the wrong size, uh, once this car's more sorted out. So, what we really want to see is the tack and how long it takes to fire. And I haven't done this yet, and the car was only started for two minutes and driven into the shop, so still pretty cold, I would say. Here we go. I would say it's never ever started that good. They say to rev the gas a little bit online before you shut it off when it's cold, so I'm going to do that. Rev to about 3000, shut it off. Let's try it again. Wow, never ever did that. Nice.